about Dr. King's legacy, the uh, the word that immediately comes to mind is, is sacrifice. Uh, Dr. King uh, was a man who sacrificed his life. He was willing to give his life uh, for causes uh, that that he knew uh, were bigger than themselves. Causes like uh, racial equity, economic equity, uh, housing equity, um, educational equity, um, and, and and in doing that, um, he told inconvenient truths. Not not truths that were popular or, or, or aligned politically uh, with the era in which he lived, uh, but truths that were necessary to help us get to where we are today, but also that we are better together, that we are stronger together, that we are wiser together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I think about the National Day of Racial Healing, I, I have to associate the word uh, diversity with that as well, that, that diversity is a strength of our community. I think um, from a city perspective, as it relates to uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and holiday uh, recognition, uh, first and foremost, I think it's a, you know, it's really an acknowledgement of the significant impact that one individual uh, has made through um, through non-violent uh, demonstration. Um, but it's not just about that one individual. Uh, that individual uh, was able to um, really um, cultivate a strong understanding of discrimination uh, and also uh, able to focus their non-violent um, non demonstration efforts on state and uh, federal law. So when I think of, of Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, it really is uh, a recognition of that whole effort. Um, and uh, importantly, where, where we've come from, um, but also equally as important, I think, of, of where we still have yet to go. Something is happening in our world. The masses of people are rising up Wherever they are assembled today, whether they are in <coughs> Johannesburg, South Africa, Nairobi, Kenya, Prague, Ghana, New York City, Atlanta, Georgia, Jackson, Mississippi, or Memphis, Tennessee, the cry is always the same, we want to be free. <laughs> I want to take time to thank our council. Our theme this year is that we are better together. And having them take their time to express from their heart, being vulnerable, being transparent, that is what will help us move the agenda for diversity, equity, and inclusion in our local government, in our employment here, as well as making a difference in our community. And so I am so excited, I am so honored to have taken that time to interview each of you and your willingness to openly share. So I would like for all of us to give them a hand.